Hey everybody, welcome back to Motion UX. So Figma just got some amazing new updates and I wanna take you through my top five favorite updates. Let's dive in. So here we are inside of Figma. There is a dark mode now, which I know a lot of folks are gonna be really excited about that. And the very first feature that I really wanna dive into is their updates to auto layout. So let's check it out. Auto layout is amazing because it allows us to create designs that flow into each other that mimic more of what you see in a production environment and allow us to have designs that are a little bit more uh, consistent as far as spacing and margins and padding and all of those sorts of things. Let me show you what just changed. Typically when you're doing an auto layout frame, I'll select some of these things and I'll do a shift A and it will automatically add auto layout. And what you can see right away is that we now are able to manipulate the in between spacing directly by interacting with the auto layout frame. So that's amazing. And what we can also do now is actually add negative spacing. So we can now overlap the elements within our auto layout frame. So we can see over here, the auto layout panel is a little bit different. We can still align things top left, bottom right, center, all of those sorts of things. Change the flow direction from top to bottom um, or left to right. We can still see here that we can change uh, the spacing. And we also have the padding left and right and top and bottom. But what's nice about this, now we can actually manipulate the margins and the padding right here on our design. And so no longer do we need to mess around with the panel here on the side, you can actually just come in here and move some things around. And if you actually hold shift, and if you hold shift and drag, it will respect the nudging increments that we have. And if you do option or alt while you're doing it, it will do left and right at the same time. And if you hold shift, it will do all of them all at one time. One more really exciting feature of auto layout is absolute positioning. And so if we go ahead and we do shift A and we change this one into a little auto layout, we wanna make sure that we wanna add a little title on top of this thing. And normally when we wanna do that, we would copy it, we'd paste it in here and you see, okay, it's not really doing it how we want it to do because now, it's seeing it as an additional object. And so in the old auto layout, we'd have to make frames within frames within frames and a background image and all of those sorts of things to make it to get text on top of something else. But now what we can do is if we have this layer selected, we can select absolute positioning and we can just drag this wherever we want, change the color. And now we have that layer exactly where we want it on top of that other layer in an auto layout frame. Next is outline mode. Outline mode is fantastic, especially when we have something like this where we have a screen overlay, a little modal, but we wanna change this text right here. You can try to do command and click, it still doesn't work. And so if we actually do shift O, we enter outline mode. And those of you who are familiar with Illustrator, this is probably a very common thing for you. But now this allows us to actually select anything based off of its outline rather than its fill. And so that gives us a lot more options and a lot more control over our design. So if I select that shift O, now I actually have that selected even though it's behind um, this overlay layer here. So strokes have also been updated. So if you see this little button that I have here, you can see that I have a stroke here applied to that button. But if you see here to the right, now we have uh, strokes per side. And so we can say we want the stroke to be on the top, we want it to be on the left, right, bottom, or we can actually do custom and change it however we want uh, for our strokes. And so this really gives us a lot of control um, of doing dividers on like a navigation bar uh, and things like that. And so individual strokes, amazing, really will help simplify some of the workflow that we have in Figma. So Figma is amazing when it comes to collaborating with other folks in real time when you're in different locations. And a common thing when you're presenting, you'll say, hey, click my face so you can follow along. And as you're previewing and sharing out and presenting to other designers or stakeholders. Well, a new feature is that if you actually hover over your own name, you can say, put the spotlight on me. And this will basically tell everyone, hey, I want you to follow me. It will give them a time to either cancel it or just go ahead and jump in. And once they do that, they will then start following you around the board. So it really simplifies that process when you're sharing out with other designers onto the same Figma board. And so now you can see, hey, they're following me right now. And the last most exciting one, especially for motion design, as we're talking about prototyping and animation, is the introduction of spring easing. And so if I set up a little prototype here where maybe from here to here, it does a little dissolve. And then from here to here, uh, we can do a smart animate. And what's gonna happen is this animals header is going to come in from the top. And how I want it to animate is with a spring animation. So typically you see this, we have like a custom Bezier handle, but now we can actually do spring easing and you can see what that looks like right there. Um, 
and we can do a slow one or we can do a custom spring animation. If you can see, I can make this extremely, extremely springy. It's a little bit too extreme. So if we go ahead and actually preview this, you can see it fades in and then we have this crazy spring animation. So a spring animation is really helpful when you're really wanting to concept some overshoot and some bounce to some specific elements moving onto the page if that fits the style and the feel of what you're going for. And that's it everyone. That's the top five updates for Figma. I hope you're excited about it and I hope it really helps you create some amazing designs and experiences. Catch y'all next time.